Hey everybody, welcome back to Mixing Music Analog and MixingMusicAnalog.com and here on my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to pick up where we left off after the last video, which was we were comparing the sound of just raw tracks being run through the preamp of the SSL Origin and printed back into Studio One. How does it compare when you put the SSL flavor on it? How does that compare to raw tracks? That's what we did in the last video. Um, check the link in the description box below and go check out that video if you haven't watched it. At the end of that video, I said, you know, someone is going to say, hey Dave, but well, what if you took the raw audio tracks and instead of just running it to the SSL, why don't you put a plug in or a SSL channel strip on it, use the preamp on the channel strip, and let's compare the sound of the channel strip on the raw audio to the printed tracks coming out of the SSL. And that's what we're gonna to do today. But before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and by the way, I say this every video, and YouTube Analytics tells me the same thing. Almost 70% of you that are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel. Please help out Uncle Dave, subscribe to the channel. Okay, just hit it right below in the notification bell. Make sure you also check out my hybrid mixing courses. We have two of them, depending on when you're watching this video. There's one right now, as I sit here, the second one's coming just in a few weeks. <laughs> mixing hybrid pop, mixing hybrid acoustic rock. Links are in the description box below. Whether you have hardware or not, you're gonna learn a ton from those two courses. Uh, and that's it. Okay, so we're back here at the console. So. Let's jump over here into Studio One. Let me show you how I have it set up and then we'll do a couple of listening examples. Oh, and by the way, this song is by Richard Cortu uh, with the vocal stylings of Viola Fernando. Uh, the name of the song is uh, Live Your Dream. Thank you so much guys for letting me use this song in this demonstration, like the last demonstration video. And we're gonna be featuring more of their music coming up in the near, in very near future. A full mix, inside the mix episode, all of that. So make sure you, like, share, subscribe. Okay, here we are. So at the end of the last, basically what we did if you didn't see the last video, but you're gonna go watch it after this, right? All the tracks here in brown are 32 tracks of all the original audio that Rich Richard sent to me, okay? All I did was I ran them through the console. No EQ, no compression, no high pass filter, not going through the master bus section. We're just running through the individual channel strip and then we're going direct out of each individual channel because this Origin has 32 direct outs you can print back into the DAW simultaneously, which I did, and all those tracks are in blue. We just printed the intro to the first chorus. So all the blue tracks have is just the preamp, coloration, and the electronics, and all the goodness that analog console will put on the audio. That's it, no other processing, no master bus processing, no hardware, no EQ, nothing flat, okay? We did that in the last video and we swapped back and forth and you can go listen to the difference and make sure you're listening on good headphones or good studio monitors. In this video, what I did was, let me bring up our mixer here in Studio One, so you'll see all those tracks, the, all the original tracks are down here in brown, okay? And those are all now being bussed to the brown track here at the end of the console and that is called original tracks. Those are the original tracks before we put them through the SSL. All the blue tracks are all the tracks that we printed with the preamp, as I just mentioned. Now those are all being routed down to this track called SSL Print. So we have the original tracks prior to the SSL, SSL Print after the SSL preamp. That was the last video. Now, what I did was to take this one step further as I took all these brown tracks and I put our SSL channel strip on them. And for this demonstration, we're using the Plugin Alliance BX console, the SSL 4000E. Why? Because the origin is based on a 4000E. We're not using anything on the plugin with the exception of the input gain, some of the V gain, and the total harmonic distortion. And I cranked the input gain pretty good to hit it kind of hard, like I did with the console. And then I turned down the output fader to level compensate. Now, I know what some of you are going to say because I've been doing this a while and I know some of you are. Some of you are gonna say, but if you just used channel strip plugin XYZ, it would sound just like your console, Dave. You picked the wrong plugin. You should have picked the SSL native or you should have picked the universal audio or you should have picked the IK multimedia or you should have picked the acoustica or you should have picked the slate digital, blah, 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 blah. I hear you. 
some people think your channel strip is the one that's gonna make all the difference and it's not the one that I'm using. I happen to be using this one because it's the one I have installed on this system. It's a very popular one. And no matter which one I use, some of these are gonna say the test is not valid because you didn't use the channel strip that I have. The one that I have sounds just like the hardware because that's what Andrew Sheps told me and that's what Michael Brower told me on YouTube, right? I know, I know what you guys are saying. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Uncle Dave likes to kid. Here's the deal. If you go to Home Recording Made Easy, the YouTube channel, I have several videos comparing all of these SSL channel strip plugins, and they're all wonderful, by the way. I'm not saying anything bad about them. They're all fantastic. Here's the other thing I'm gonna tell you, a little secret before you go watch the video. They pretty much all sound the same. Not one of them is really any better than the other. Little subtle differences because the, the, the desk that they modeled is gonna sound different than the other desks that the other company modeled. But they're all got that SSL flavor and they all sound really good. So why do I tell you that? Because it really doesn't matter what channel strip plugin we're using, we're gonna get about the same result. We really truly are. And for the ones that are here that know what I'm talking about, you already get that. This is the one I have. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough of that because you're like, yeah, all right, Dave, whatever. <laughs> Let's get on with it. All right, here we are. So I put that channel strip across all the tracks. Oh, and by the way, on this channel strip, the other reason why I picked this one is because we have the, uh, the virtual channels here where you can switch the channel that they modeled on the original desk. So you'll see like the kick drum I'm using is track one, but when you go to the snare drum, it's on track two. And I did that all the way through all 32 channels. So each one of these channels in the plugin is gonna sound a little different just like the console would. And that's one of the reasons why I like the Plugin Alliance one because no other channel strip does this as far as I know. So we did that, okay? We tried to make this somewhat accurate as, be as best as I can. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to listen to this audio with the original tracks with the channel strip on. I'm gonna highlight all of these and then I'm just gonna shut off the plugin here. I'm just gonna shut off the SSL so you can hear what the SSL plugin are doing to these tracks. Then we'll compare it to the printed SSL tracks. Got it? Okay, here we go. So here's uh, Live Your Dream, Richard and Viola. Thank you so much. Keep your eye on the power button on the plugin. Here we go. Okay, so what I'm hearing here in the room, and by the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, this song is not mixed, it's just raw audio, right? There's a little balance, there's no panning, there's no nothing, really, because I wanted to keep this thing as, as pure as I, as I could, okay? So keep that in mind. So what I hear with this example, just turning the Plugin Alliance channel strip on and off, it does have some of the sensation we're about to hear in a second, but not that much, where it feels like it gets a little bit more open, a little bit wider, a little bit more clarity, okay? The clarity is the reason why it sounds like it'd even be just a touch louder. It's really not that it's louder, it's more of the way the EQ is happening there. So it, it does add a little bit of, uh, for lack of a better word, improvement is a good channel strip, okay? I've been teaching this stuff in the box for 10 years at Home Recording Made Easy. These channel strips have that flavor to them, they do. Okay, so that's what it sounds like with and without the channel strip. We're gonna leave the channel strip on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to the end. Now your job is to keep your eye on the brown track, which is the original tracks with the Plugin Alliance channel strip. And then we're gonna cycle over to the SSL print, which is the one we ran through the console just on the preamp, hitting the desk kind of hard, printing it back in. We're gonna start from the beginning. Now, 
If you're not sure what to listen for, I picked this music uh, purposely because it starts off very subtle with just a little bit of a piano, then a little piano vocal, then a little acoustic guitar, and it builds up to a full drum kit. So what you're going to hear is you're going to hear way more subtle in the beginning as I'm flipping back and forth because on one or two instruments at a time, it's not that, it's not that obvious. But by the time we get to the chorus and the whole band kicks in, then really focus your listening because that's where you're going to hear the most difference. So we're going to start on the original tracks and we're going to go back and forth um, and just keep your eye on the, on the solo buttons over here at the end of the console. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here is what I hear. In this example, I lowered the original track there just a smidgen because it was a little bit louder than the SSL print, but we're, we're really close. So, as compared this to the other video, the other video, there was a bigger difference between these two. Now, the plugin has closed that gap just a little bit. However, we still, with the SSL print, we still have more separation with the instruments. We have a clearly more depth is what I hear in the room here, okay? Again, over YouTube, I'm not sure. So you gotta take Uncle Dave's word for it. A Little bit more depth, a little bit more width, a little bit more clarity. With the, when we go back to the plug-in tracks, the original tracks, it feels like it gets a little more narrow and a little bit more this, uh, this way. So front to back is not as obvious. And again, we're not talking about miles, but we're talking about 10% different, 15% different maybe. It's not like, you know, wow, the SSL is 90% better than the plugins. No, 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 no. It's, it's probably 10% different. You, you could say it's better or worse. It really depends on your personal liking. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's listen to that again. Now, again, when you're listening to just the piano and the acoustic guitar, it's almost really hard to tell. It isn't until whole band kicks in where it really makes a difference. Here we go. We're starting on the, uh, the original tracks with the plug-in, and then we're gonna go to the SSL. Here we go. Okay, so two instruments there that I really heard a big difference. Maybe you did as well. The piano seems like it's certainly a little wider with the SSL print, and the background vocals seem to get a little bit more clear, and you, they hear like a, a bigger width. So what I'm determining here in the room is that with the SSL, there is a width and a depth that's happening that isn't quite there with the original tracks. And with the plug-in, it got a little bit closer than the last video. The last video was a bigger difference. The plugin has closed that gap a little bit, but it's still very, very obvious, at least to me here in the room. Again, I don't know. You'll have to tell me what you uh, hear in the comments below. So 
like I've been saying for years, using these channel strips across all your tracks, and if you tweak them and dial them in, you can get to closer to this kind of a sound. It sounds like an SSL, the plugin. It does, it has that thing, but it doesn't have the depth is the biggest thing. It seems like it's more three-dimensional. Um, with the with the hardware, the console, and that's pretty much what I hear whenever we've done shootouts with hardware and plugins. It's the same kind of thing. So anyway, I thought that would be interesting. You guys wanted to know about that. You wanted to check that out. So that's what I hear. What do you hear? Leave comments below. Go check out the last video because the differences are a little bit larger. Um, and again, let me know what you think below. Okay, so make sure you like, share, subscribe. Again, if you're one of the 70%, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously because if you guys want me to get more gear in here and do more demos and more comparisons and all that stuff, the only way I get this gear from, this com from these companies, even just to loan it to me, not to give it to me, even if I have to send it back, which in a lot of times I do, they won't even let me borrow it unless I have a large enough audience as we're gonna get enough views on the videos to where it makes sense for them to do it. So by you subscribing and helping raise up the visibility of the channel. It allows me to do more of these experimentations and give you an unbiased, unfiltered, honest comparison between this stuff because I have both and I work with both every day and they're both awesome. But plugins, box, hardware, analog. It's just a matter of what you like and what the situation calls for and really what your wallet will accept you to do. But I'm not here to sell you either one of these things. I don't care. I'm just here to show you, hey, I'm blessed and I'm fortunate enough to have both rigs at the room, in the room at the same time. I can compare these things side by side and just tell you what the differences are. So if you want me to do more of these things, please hit that subscribe button. Again, make sure you check out Hybrid Mixing uh, Pop and Hybrid Mixing Acoustic Rock. Links will be in the description box below. And until the next video, I've been David Mixing Music Analog and MixingMusicAnalog.com. Thank you so much for watching me today, and I will see you guys in the next video.